What kind of game characters have you not played as yet? We have all been a space marine only about 90 million times. What about a common everyday man who needs to take matters into his own hands? Been there, done that. What about an unnaturally attractive explorer saving the world from evil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about a dog? Now hold on a minute, that's a new one. What do we have here? This is Dog's Life for the PS2. Released in 2004 by Frontier Games, you play as Jake, an American foxhound who is just the most ambitious little doggy ever. His girlfriend Daisy is dognapped and Jake is out to save her. You go out to the open world and solve missions given to you by the people around you. I don't know if any of you are like me, but when I first buy a game, I like to go through the manual trying to get a beat on the controls in the game. So here I am looking through the manual and I find the controls. Fairly basic, you move with the left stick, bark with square, jump with X, and poo with left right down. Record scratch? What? There's a poop button? And below that there's a P left and a P right? Like one P button wasn't enough, they had to put in the option in order to determine which direction you wanted to pee in. The game is designed for immature children, and luckily I am an immature child. So I load up the game and click through the opening cutscene in order to get to the gameplay as quickly as possible so that I can see how loud you bark in the game. No, I want to try out the poop button like everybody else does. And this game does not lie to you. You literally poop. And you can even play with the poop after and throw it at chickens and people. So much fun. Who designed this game? Only someone with a maturity level of mine would put that in the game. And thankfully they did. Back to the game though. It's an open world game with missions scattered all around the place. It's like GTA Dog. They range from collection quests to using your smell o vision cause every dog thinks their nose is as smell o vision to track down smells. Now get all eight and I can race the local champ. There are also races against other dogs and after you beat them, you can even control certain dogs for certain sections, which is a nice change to the overall experience. A little chihuahua running in the house and getting the bone. Nice to mix it up. This is Hiram J. Chicken Plucker, but you can call me Hank. Right here on CHIK. Oh, I love to watch other dogs do it. It is a basic game with very simple gameplay and very basic graphics. Now, I know I've been spoiled by my PlayStation 3, and looking back at previous generation games, they all look pretty bad to me, but this game's graphics are pretty bad. You will see all the polygons in Jake, and the colors in the world just don't have that immersion. But you can forgive them for this because it's about being a dog. I just like to run around thinking, hey, hey, I'm a dog. Yep, yep, definitely a dog. Throw something. I'll bring it back. You know why? Because I'm a dog. Dog, dog, dog. Also, the ending is unbelievable. Oh, Not to yeah. spoil too much. I'll just say it involves well, Jake farting, a cat food processing machine, like, and the main antagonist. Seriously, look it up on YouTube. Dude. You won't believe this game. Battery, and I like toss you a bone, you dick. I personally like games that go against the standard, and I really respect a game that tries to do something different. While all the other games out there had you invading other alien worlds or ancient ruins, this game dared to try something different. And you get to play as a dog, which is cool, cause dogs are cool. Now, if only I could get my dog to learn more tricks than sleep in my bed, life would be pretty good. Uh, say there, boy, wanna earn a bone? Uh, my sheepdog refuses to round up the darn sheep. Can you get her to do the job? 